Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Angel and today we are going to talk about the critical situation that the wolves of Norway are in, sadly. So for those who don't know, Norway is situated next to Sweden, which is in Scandinavia in north of Europe. Now you know. <laughs> Um, it's my one of my home countries and how my country has been treating wolf is horrendous, outrageous and out of this world, truly. Um, now, just for some context, wolves have a, a little bit of a varied diary. Diet, not a diary. What am I talking about? Um, they mainly, or the wolves of Norway, mainly eat uh, medium mammals, medium-sized mammals, um, so like sheep and uh, maybe some cats as well, I'm not really sure, but they, they eat um, animals that are like sheep-sized. And what happens is that sometimes the wolves of Norway will eat sheep that belongs to a farmer and what happens is when a farmer finds out that a wolf has eaten one of their sheep they might be compensated with money uh, not only for the lost business but also like more than that so they're compensated for the lost meat, the lost wool, and maybe like the lost lanolin uh, they would have made if not that sheep would have been eaten by a wolf. Wolf are animal wolves are animals that they they're not like humans, they don't really have a wide variety of things to eat. They eat with instinct, they eat with need, they eat with necessity, um, and I'm sure a wolf is not like, hmm, should I go to the store or should I eat a sheep, you know? They don't, that's not how it works. Um, so wolves will naturally eat sheep that belongs to a farmer, and then the farmer he will see that or they will see that and they will report to the authorities hi one of my sheep got eaten by a wolf the authority says okay say no more and then they get like a lot of money i think it's like double of what they would have made with that one sheep but i'm not sure now this in itself like i understand that i think like this in itself you know that the the farmer gets money from from it from <laughs> from the state of Norway. I think that's a good that's a good thing, you know. Um, okay, you lost business to something natural, like a natural cause, which is uh, an animal from the wilderness eating one of your business subjects. If you understand what I mean by that, <laughs> I think that's a good. Uh, resolution or like solution for um, for that happening however ever since I think ever since my dad was little or even before that I'm not sure how long that this has been going on but ever since um, many years ago um, the Norwegian state the, the country of Norway which might I add, is one of the richest on planet Earth. <laughs> uh, they have been totally okay with um, anyone killing wolves. If you have, um, what is it called again? If you have a gun license or like license to, uh, what is the word in English? I'm sorry, English is my third language. <laughs> if you have a license to, you know, people who kill for fun, not people, but like animals, uh, for fun. What is it called again? Yeah. Hunters, if you have a license to hunt in Norway, you 
are not welcome or not like do this but you you can kill a wolf and then you will have to report to the authorities that you have killed a wolf and the authorities will tell it to the rest of the country now in north america wolves are are fine they are not critically <laughs> excuse me Wolves in North America, for example, they are not a critically threatened species. They are actually the least... They actually have the least concern in being a threatened species because there are so many. Um, also, they have another diet than the wolves in Norway. They eat, for example, elks, caribou, um, deers, you know, but so yeah, there's many wolves in North America. Now I want to you I want you to just take one second and guess how many wolves there are in Norway. Norway is a big country but not very populated by people. Um and it's very long. So I'm just Do you have a number yet? How many wolves do we have in Norway? Okay, I'm going to give it to you. So, um, since Norway is bordering to Sweden, uh, we have many wolves that are like going between Norway and Sweden. And like some of the wolves, some of the wolf troops, they're like um, only being in Norway, but then are, then are some that are also going to Sweden a little. All of those wolves that are like mainly in Norway with a tiny bit of Sweden, 90 wolves, nine zero, nine zero wolves, that's all we have. And only a few days ago, might I add, it's, it, we're calling it the Sib Siberian cold or something. It's so cold in Norway right now. If you don't know, Google it, look at the weather in Norway. It is so cold. There is snow, it's minus 30 degrees Celsius. It is cold as Oh, it's so cold. And um, yeah, two wolves just got killed by some hunters because they were just roaming around trying to find some food in the Siberian cold that is installed in Norway at this point. Yeah. And also, uh, people usually kill wolves in Norway when, not when they have eaten a sheep or eaten any like chicken or you know livestock it's not they don't it's just if you see a wolf you can kill it if you have a license to have a gun you know um i am embarrassed by how norway is treating wolves um a species that is just below being extinct in the wilderness i don't know if you know the wilderness like chart I'm going to tell you, there is extinct, EX, and then there's EW, extinct in the wilderness, and then there is the threatened one that are like three, and the one there is critically threatened, and then there are, I don't know the other ones. Wolves in Norway are just below the extinct in wilderness. They are critically, critically, critically threatened, and however, the country of Norway thinks it's totally fine, totally fine with killing the wolves that we have left, which is outrageous. I don't understand how we are going to keep keep our population of wolves if anyone is just killing them. Um, so yeah, and this has been going on for years and everyone, I mean many 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 people in Norway are against this. My parents are against this. Uh, I know many farmers that are against this, but then there are, and I'm sorry for saying this, but there are stupid people out there who think that they are entitled to do whatever they want in their life. It's this, uh, yeah, it makes me so angry. And I, I have, uh, I don't understand. 
If you're a farmer and that you have sheep that are eaten, you get money, you get compensated. Isn't that enough? Do you know how many sheep we have in Norway? It's so many. I think we have more than 100,000 sheep in Norway. It is not a threatened species. It is a species that people farm to have meat, to sell meat and uh, make wool, perhaps, other things like that. We, if, and I'm sorry for saying this, I'm even vegan, <laughs> I'm 40 animals, but if one sheep gets eaten, it's not the same as if one, wool, one wolf gets shot. One wolf, it's like, it's more than 1% of the wolf population in Norway because there are less than 90 wolves in Norway. So yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, I'm extremely angry when it comes to the wolf situation in Norway and I feel like no one is listening to the people talking about the wolves in Norway and it angers me so much and I feel so powerless. I don't even live in Norway right now but I just feel so powerless when uh, it's okay to kill and shoot innocent wolves. Like, they just want to survive. <sighs> yeah, I'm just so angry. I'm gonna go now, uh, but I just wanted to spread the message about wolves in Norway because I find it so incredibly stupid and low and, yeah, angersome, really. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave now and um, I hope you have a better day than, than me. <laughs> I'm very angry, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go now. I love you all so much. And don't kill wolves, please. Thank you. Mwah.